So let's talk a little bit about opportunities. You know, again, from a wealth management standpoint, we were, we're really looking at tax mitigation strategies, liquidity planning, uh, everything that goes along with the investment strategies. We've got five of the uh, strategies that we are implementing right now. Uh, so we have got them either set up or we've already activated uh, many of these strategies for our clients. Today, we're gonna highlight strategy number four, which is reallocate risk up. So it's simple, but effective. Uh, so when you're looking at the markets again, and, and again, looking at the 10 to 15% healthy correction in this scenario that we're gonna look at, uh, we're actually gonna use, just like we did last year or last week, a 12.5% correction in this uh, scenario. So how does this play out for our clients? And reallocating risk up. Well, moderate portfolios on the way down, you know, in other words, if you have a moderate portfolio on the way down in a correction and you reallocate that portfolio to a higher risk profile, um, and then wait for the market to recover. And then once you get to the top again, you reallocate back to your regular risk. Um, now, once you reallocate back in this strategy, you're now ready for the next correction. And yes, it will come again. We know that there's gonna be more. So let's, let's look at some numbers. So we're gonna go back to John. Um, John has an account that grew to $1 million prior to the COVID crisis. And this was basically as of February, 2020. Crisis comes, we have all sorts of volatility going on. His account goes down to 850 and has been coming back to 945. And he's thinking, you know what, if we're gonna have this correction, I'm gonna do the risk up strategy. And again, what we're looking at here is next on the downturn, uh, we're gonna look to reallocate the risk level from his current 3.5 profile to a profile six. So we're gonna be ratcheting up in this strategy. Now, in August, the market corrects and bad economic news looms out there. The market drops down 12.5%. John decides, okay, it's time to pull the trigger and reallocate to a higher risk portfolio in his account. So in this situation, the market goes down 12.5%. Because he's in a 3.5 portfolio profile, we ultimately didn't go down as far as the market, again, 12.5%. So once we drop and we feel we've hit that, that mark that we want to risk up, we're gonna risk up to a six profile in the portfolio. So let's say we do that in August. Now, the market makes a recovery. The market rallies back 30%. That gets the market back to even. But what happens to John's account? Well, let's say John's account only gets 20%. Well, bringing that account back 20% is going to give him a higher value after the crisis is over. So a 20% increase after a 6% drop actually nets John an increase of over $65,000 in this strategy. So looking at the numbers again, you know, pre-crisis, he was at a 3.5 risk level. The market drops. He doesn't take as much of a drop because he's in a lower risk profile. Uh, he started out with a million dollars, the account went down, he risked up, the market came back, he now has a, a million 65, 960, so he gains in that strategy 65,960. I don't know about you, but that seems to be a good amount of money for that uh, risk uh, that we're working on. And again, when you're looking at risk, the farther the market goes down, the less likely it's to push further down. So the opportunity becomes greater and greater as the market comes down, the risk becomes lower and lower because eventually that stock market's going to hit its bottom before moving forward again. That's the risk up strategy. Now let's talk a little bit about 
while the markets are still up, what have we been doing with the strategies? Well, we have been paying the taxes on any pre-crisis Roth conversions or conversions that were done while the market was going down. Um, I think we've got one more client to pay the taxes on. That part of the strategy is done uh, for right now. Uh, we have also paid up all life insurance premiums that were due during this crisis. Again, when the market went down, we postponed paying the life insurance premiums. Markets back up right now. We're paying them as well as the taxes to get everybody on track again. Uh, and we'll just watch the market from here. Eventually, the market's going to come back down. There will be life insurance premiums that have to be due at that point. We'll put those on hold and then we'll repeat that process again when the market comes back up again. So that's our wealth management strategy update 